Do you want to live a healthier life and reduce your cholesterol levels? Well, you're in the right place. Today we're talking about the importance of healthy eating and its impact on cholesterol levels. You see, cholesterol isn't inherently bad. It helps build cells and make vitamins, but too much of it can lead to heart disease. And that's where diet comes in. The food we eat can significantly influence our cholesterol levels. Think of it this way. Our bodies are like finely tuned machines and food is the fuel. If we fill it with low quality fuel, it's not going to run as efficiently. But if we nourish it with high quality, cholesterol friendly foods, we can keep our engines purring and our hearts healthy. So let's take control of our health and make informed food choices. Let's bid goodbye to high cholesterol and embrace a heart friendly diet. Now, let's dive into the eight best foods to reduce cholesterol and prevent a heart attack. First on our list is oats, a breakfast staple for many. But what makes oats such a powerful ally in our fight against bad cholesterol? Well, it's all about fiber, specifically a type of soluble fiber known as beta-glucan. This wonder component has been shown to significantly reduce LDL or bad cholesterol levels. When you consume oats, the beta-glucan forms a gel-like substance in your digestive tract. This substance then binds with the cholesterol-rich bile acids, preventing them from being absorbed into your body. Instead, they're simply swept out of your system. That's not all. Oats are also packed with other essential nutrients like magnesium, iron, and B vitamins, making them a nutritional powerhouse. But remember, not all oats are created equal. For the most health benefits, opt for whole oats or steel-cut oats, which have more fiber and less added sugar than instant or flavored varieties. So why not start your day with a bowl of oatmeal? Next up is olive oil, often referred to as liquid gold. This golden nectar is more than just a tasty companion to your bread and salads. It's a powerhouse of heart-healthy, monounsaturated fats. Now you might be thinking, aren't fats bad for us? Well, not all fats are created equal. The monounsaturated fats found in olive oil can actually lower the levels of LDL cholesterol. That's the bad kind, the one that clogs up your arteries and invites heart problems. Olive oil is also chock full of antioxidants, which fight inflammation and protect your blood vessels. And here's a fun fact. The extra virgin in your extra virgin olive oil means it's made from the very first pressing of the olives, ensuring the highest quality oil with the most health benefits. So, next time you're cooking or dressing your salad, reach for that bottle of liquid gold. Remember, a little olive oil goes a long way. Now let's talk about the creamy delicious avocado. This green gem is not just a trendy brunch choice but a cholesterol-fighting powerhouse. Its smooth, buttery texture conceals a wealth of monounsaturated fats. These are the good fats that can help to lower bad cholesterol levels. But that's not all. Avocados are also packed with fiber. A single avocado contains around 10 grams of fiber, which is about a third of the daily recommended intake. Fiber not only aids digestion, but it also helps to lower the amount of cholesterol the body absorbs. Avocado's versatility makes it easy to incorporate into your meals. Whether it's sliced on toast, diced in a salad, or blended into a smoothie, there are endless ways to enjoy this cholesterol-lowering fruit. So whether you're a fan of guacamole or you prefer your avocado on toast, remember you're doing your heart a favor. So don't hesitate to add some avocado to your salad, toast, or even your smoothie. Moving on to nuts, a great snack option. Let's talk about almonds and walnuts for a moment. They're not just tasty, but they're also packed with goodness that your heart will thank you for. These little powerhouses are rich in polyunsaturated fats, which are the good kind of fats that your body needs. You see, polyunsaturated fats help to lower your levels of bad LDL cholesterol and increase your good HDL cholesterol. This is crucial in maintaining a healthy heart and reducing the risk of heart disease. Almonds are particularly rich in monounsaturated fats, and walnuts are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids, another type of good fat. So instead of reaching for a packet of chips or a chocolate bar when you're feeling peckish, why not grab a handful of nuts? They're not only delicious but also provide a great source of fiber and protein, keeping you fuller for longer. Next time you're looking for a snack, reach for a handful of nuts instead of chips. Let's now shift our focus to fatty fish, a great source of omega-3 fatty acids. These heart-healthy fats are essential for our body, but unfortunately, our body doesn't produce them. So how do we get them? Well, by eating fatty fish. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, sardines, and trout are loaded with these beneficial fats. They work wonders to lower the levels of low-density lipoprotein, commonly known as bad cholesterol, in our body. But that's not all. 
They also help to increase high-density lipoprotein, or good cholesterol. Why is this important, you ask? Well, while LDL contributes to fatty buildups in arteries, HDL carries cholesterol away from the arteries and back to the liver, where it's broken down and removed from the body. So, if you're looking for a delicious and heart-healthy addition to your diet, look no further than fatty fish. Consider adding fatty fish like salmon or mackerel to your diet at least twice a week. Next, we have legumes, a versatile and nutritious food group. Now, what are legumes, you ask? Well, these are plants with seed pods that split into two halves. Beans, lentils, peas, they all fall under this category. High in fiber, legumes are a heart-healthy choice. The soluble fiber present in these foods forms a gel-like substance in your digestive tract, which binds to the cholesterol and prevents it from being absorbed into your body. This means that the more legumes you eat, the more cholesterol you can block. But that's not all. Legumes are also packed with protein, making them an excellent choice for plant-based diets. They are low in fat, high in minerals, and provide a slow-burning complex carbohydrate source, ensuring a steady energy supply. So why not add some chickpeas to your salad, lentils to your soup, or make a hearty bean casserole? Remember, legumes can be a great addition to salads, soups, and even main dishes. Fruits, nature's candy, are next on our list. Imagine a world where your sweet treat not only satisfies your taste buds, but also contributes to your heart health. That's the beauty of fruits, particularly those high in fiber like berries and apples. Fruits are a fantastic source of dietary fiber. This fiber combines with the cholesterol in your system, preventing it from being absorbed into your bloodstream. The result? Lower overall cholesterol levels. And it doesn't stop there. Fruits are also packed with antioxidants. These are compounds that protect your body from harmful molecules called free radicals. Berries with their vibrant colors and sweet taste are antioxidant powerhouses. Apples, on the other hand, are high in pectin a type of fiber that's especially effective at binding cholesterol. And remember, fruits are versatile. Eat them fresh, toss them in a salad, or blend them into a smoothie. The possibilities are endless. Don't forget an apple a day can keep the doctor away. Last but not least, we have vegetables, a cornerstone of any healthy diet. These vibrant powerhouses come packed with fiber, antioxidants, and numerous other health-enhancing compounds. When it comes to lowering cholesterol, Vegetables play a crucial role. They are low in calories and high in dietary fiber, which aids in controlling cholesterol levels by binding with cholesterol particles and moving them out of the body. Leafy greens in particular are stars in this arena. Spinach, kale, and collard greens are just a few examples of green veggies that can help keep your cholesterol in check. But let's not forget about other fiber-rich vegetables like broccoli, carrots, and sweet potatoes. These not only add variety to your diet, but also work towards reducing cholesterol levels. It's a colorful, crunchy, and delicious way to fight back against high cholesterol. So always aim to fill half your plate with vegetables. That concludes our list of the eight best foods to reduce cholesterol and prevent a heart attack. We began with the humble oat, a powerhouse of soluble fiber that aids in lowering bad cholesterol. Next, the liquid gold that is olive oil, packed with heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. We then moved on to the creamy avocado, a source of beneficial fats and fiber. Nuts, a crunchy delight, are not just tasty but also rich in healthy fats and fiber. Fatty fish, with their omega-3 fatty acids, are a boon for heart health. Legumes, a staple in many diets, are high in fiber, minerals, and proteins. Fruits, the nature's candy, are not just sweet but also packed with essential vitamins and minerals. And lastly, vibrant vegetables, the cornerstone of a healthy diet, are low in calories but high in nutrients. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.